Hello again and welcome back. I'm McSnazzy and today we are back in Planet Zoo for another episode of Ranger Park Zoo. But before we get into that, please consider subscribing down below. It's completely free and it really does help grow the channel. Now to get into this build today, we are going to be doing the giant otter and we're going to make them quite a big enclosure for what they, uh, what they require. We're putting in about eight giant otters in this uh, exhibit here so we need a uh, quite a bit of space and it turned out a little bigger than I wanted it to mostly because it's the giant otter and not just a regular like river sea otter that you normally find uh, at like a Midwest Zoo sort of what this uh, zoo project is so that's a little bit of a difference and it results in a bit of a bigger more Amazon like uh, sort of enclosure here which was really fun to build and I'm happy with the results but I wish it was more like a, just like a regular good old North American sea otter whatever they're called <laughs> but if you missed last episode of Ranger Park Zoo we did a nice realistic African elephant enclosure it turned out really nice and uh, I think it really kept the realism of this project and if you guys haven't seen it yet the link is in the description below you can also find there the playlist to this whole series so you can see every episode and how we built up the zoo to this point which leads me to my next talking point I wanted to talk about the next episode of Ranger Park Zoo it's gonna be a little different than normal episodes it's not gonna be a build video it is going to be a tour of the zoo so far so I'm going to well I'm planning on releasing a one episode with commentary where we walk through the zoo and it's sort of like a tour of what the zoo is in this sort of phase one of the project and I'm gonna also release another episode which isn't gonna be in the series that's just going to be no commentary of this tour so it's just more of a hearing the in-game noises and just more relaxing than necessarily listening to me talk about all the builds all my favorite areas things like that now this phase one sort of tour episode is more of like a phase point 1.5 out of two um, we're kind of much further past halfway finished with this episode or not episode with this build series in general i mean the zoo is humongous i mean there's not much more area where we can expand and make it sort of stretch it out to be another how many 17 plus 17 another like 34 episodes I, I think that's unrealistic but we could get bogged down we could be doing a lot of detail stuff it could be the truth but in my mind I don't think it'll necessarily get to that point because we've pretty much filled almost all of the map there's not a lot of space to go from here I still have a few big plans that I want to finish up for the zoo project before we sort of cap it off but those are still you know I've I budgeted space for those I know where they're gonna go and they could be they're most likely going to be a lot larger than I sort of envision them to be with the animals that I want to put in so just thinking now it's it's a little more past the face one. but hey after that rant look out for that episode next it's gonna be really cool I'm gonna do a tour um, I'm not sure how long it'll be probably a little shorter than an average episode this episode's gonna end up being a little shoulder shorter this build was a little smaller than the usual build so look out for that but probably a little longer than this episode but it'll be a fun little recap of all the builds we've done from the very beginning get to walk through get to see things that we can detail up I may do a little bit of detailing work around the zoo before the tour episode in order to get it prepared for the tour especially when I do the sort of second upload where it has no commentary so that's for people that aren't necessarily actively watching the series they can check it out and just kind of see what a planet zoo build project based on realism um, looks like at sort of phase 1.5 sort of so to speak but after all of that talking about future plans let's get into what we're actually building on the screen here as you can see we've sort of made a river here because these are the giant otters they live on the Amazon River um, so they want a river I sort of added this rock wall in the back it's sort of bigger than I expected it to be you could honestly probably fit a bear species in here for the bear walk but we put the otters in here we put a lot of otters in here and it, it does look right in the end but it's a little bigger 
of an attraction than just a little otter exhibit so it's a bit more of uh, a thing now but that's okay because you know it's sort of a special otter species anyway but here we are adding all the enrichment items i went for sort of a short fencing for this short barriers the guests can see over and they could totally jump in the habitat but as a realism standpoint, otters aren't really going to be that dangerous for guests, so I thought it was an okay thing to do, and I think it looks a lot better. and looks a lot more realistic than sort of a glass barrier right there, because I don't think you'd spend a lot of money on a glass barrier for just an otter habitat. But that is that. We're going to be adding a little bit of a cave for the otters to sleep in here. Just a little thing, because I believe they sleep out on the water a little more in real life. Um, that waterfall will be finished in the live walkthrough. I did that off camera. Um, this is just sort of an early iteration of it. But we're going to be adding a lot of vegetation here. I wanted to go for a, a big dense wooded feeling like Amazon River sort of thing here. So they and they also do like a ton of vegetation so it worked out really well with what I wanted to do but I added a lot of cool plants that they've added to the game that I haven't seen before like the rhubarb plant or rhubarb bush something like that but I sort of line that on the back along the chain link fence as you see here sort of blocking out the fence so you don't necessarily see it and just looks and feels a little more cozy and immersive than the average build. But that is sort of the feel we're going for here and I believe it works out very well as we're going to add just a bit more foliage everywhere and make this sort of a cozy build for the otters who do enjoy a dense uh, forest and vegetation area so it does work out well. So this sort of otter exhibit is right next to the end of the bear walk or the supposedly end of the bear walk kind of by the polar bears and the staff area over here and kind of near the giraffe house if you're familiar but I will show it a little bit in the live portion. Um, I think for the future plans of the build is we may make this sort of like an aquatic area where we put down a penguin center and potentially the seals because I do want to make, uh, or not seals, the sea lions, right? I think it's the sea lions. I do want to create these sea lions so we might do a little bit of an aquatic center and as I said on the last episode I might put down the penguin center build I did from a couple weeks ago in Ranger Park Zoo but I think I may do an, my own new build here for a penguin and sea lion center so sort of like an aquatic center where we can put both of them in. I think that'll be a little more fun and it'll help create more of a unique sort of uh, aquatic area for Ranger Park Zoo since the other uh, build that I did was sort of a recreation of a realistic actual uh, build that exists at the Detroit Zoo. So let me know your thoughts about that in the comments. Also, if you would like to see a map download for this series, uh, when we do the tour of the phase one sort of build here in the next episode, if you guys would be interested in a map download for this on the Steam Workshop. I always thought that I would release the map at the end of the project. I may release it at this phase one. I'm not entirely sure yet, but any feedback or suggestions in the comments will sort of guide that decision as well. So let me know if you have any thoughts on that. But with that being said, we are pretty much finished with the time lapse portion of this episode. We'll jump in in the live portion. So a couple things that I did off camera and show the final build in all its glory. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright everybody, we are now in the live portion of the episode. Here we are at the beginning of the tortoise house and the bear walk if you're familiar with the series. If not, we're towards the beginning of the zoo. Now let's check out our build, but before that I wanted to show off something I did off camera which was this little picnic area on the grass over here. So there was a little bit of a area where there was really nothing there and I wanted to add sort of a purpose for this area so what I ended up doing was adding a few picnic benches on a path and then deleting the path so it looks like it's just like a little picnic area for like a school field trip. Uh, families when they go to the zoo they'll bring lunches and they can picnic here right next to the tortoise house right outside of the education center. Uh, if you haven't seen either of these builds go check them out in the playlist below they were awesome and I'm really happy with them still. <laughs> So let's head over to the otter exhibit 
right over here. Lots of people are flooding to it right now. Uh, no sign. I wanted it to be sort of a hideaway, sort of smaller enclosure. I, uh, at least the zoo that I frequent doesn't have signs necessarily for every single animal entrance. And let's head on inside to the exhibit. And I love how this turned out. Let's see if we can get a nice viewpoint right here. See the waterfall right there, the rushing river for the otters. And I think it just turned out really nice. We have a mud bath here, sort of a little Richmond item. Very densely wooded and everything. And the otters just enjoy running around, swimming in the water and all that stuff. So what we did back here was we just kind of added a little bit of a sort of planter area with some trees to just sort of make this hideaway. You have to go off the main path if you want to see the otters. Uh, just a typical realistic aspect that zoos tend to use. Over here in the main deep pond where the otters can get really deep in the water and play with their uh, water toys and everything. I didn't detail down here too much because we're not necessarily ever going to see that. but. Just imagine it being nice and lush underneath the water here and we have some nice big lily pads uh, which is sort of common for Amazon sort of builds so I think it fits really nice. We did this dense backdrop here along the chain link fence that we put in at the beginning of the time lapse with these rhubarb plants, these big plants right here. Some big trees and some underbrush as well. I think it just looks great, dense and just really fits with the aesthetic that we're trying to go with the whole Amazon River sort of uh, deal for the giant otters. And just a nice little rushing waterfall. First time using this waterfall piece that's not one of those usual uh, sort of special effects. It's more of its own sort of piece that just goes straight down. And I think it looks really good. I hit it with some rocks and the backdrop of this looks great. It really blends in well with sort of the staff building back there, you can't really see it when you're hanging out in this uh, area and here comes the keeper in right now. So this looks great. Sort of a shorter build this week, smaller scale, but really adds a lot to the zoo and I kind of wanted to play with the round with the new animal anyway. So let's jump out of first person for a second. All right, now we are in the overhead view and we can take a look at this long river once again and I think it turned out great. And for the future episodes, we're going to be heading out this direction. We're going to add a couple more bears. I think we'll add the panda bear um, because I've never done pandas before. We may add the Himalayan brown bear. Not entirely sure. It might be a little redundant with our black bear and grizzly bear habitat as well. This way, I kind of want to build the primate's house for the large apes. But next episode will be a tour of everything we have so far. Sort of a phase one tour, but we have a lot of animals to cover in that tour. So look out on the channel for that. It's going to be a really exciting episode. There's going to be a commentary version and then a version that's just going to have no commentary, just game noises. So you can sort of get the feel of that a little more immersive and a little more realistic that way. But here is the giant otters. They look great. I really enjoyed that as he jumps on the rock there. Um, kind of glitchy a little bit when they're doing their animations. But all in all, great build. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below. Also, consider subscribing. It's free and it really does help out the channel. And leave a comment if you have any suggestions for the upcoming tour. If you want to see a download of this world so you can sort of mess around with it yourself or just check out all the different things we have in this Ranger Park Zoo. Um, until next time, when we do the tour, I'm McSnazzy. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.